Hi. Hi. Hey people, welcome to Deuce Day. I'm getting an award for perfect attendance. There's another guy with the same name as me also getting awards. And up there is Sensei. He's getting an award too. Ain't that school year! Alright, I'm Ian and this is my project, the history of Pokemon. The original guy who concepted Pokemon was a man named Satoshi Tejiro, born on August 28, 1965 in Tokyo. He was a person who had a love of bugs in his youth, and as he grew up, he began to skip school in favor of going to an arcade and collecting bugs. He eventually went to go and work with Game Freak, a former magazine company that started up making video games because they were frustrated with the lack of quality games on the market, and they wanted to be a company based on the concept of making quality games, not just making money. The main inspiration for Pokemon came when Tajiri saw two kids playing on a Game Boy and imagined bugs crawling between the two games via the link cable, and thus he and Game Freak got to work on designing the first concepts. The earliest concept of the game was actually titled Capsule Monsters instead of Pocket Monsters, known as Capumon. There isn't much else known about this phase of the originals except of this sketch to imply that a Pokemon that made it to the final product was one of the first ones ever created. And well, and Nintendo didn't see much potential, but gave Tajiri some funding, and he worked on the game for six years. And after that six years, Pokemon Red version and Pokemon Green version were released in Japan for the Game Boy, <coughs> February 27, 1996. The game eventually got two extra releases, being Blue version released October 10, 1999, and Yellow version released September 10, 1998. And both Tajiri and Nintendo were shocked to see how well the games did because sales of Game Boy were going down. And the first two games in the series ended up selling 10.4 million units in Japan. And, and that led to Pokemon getting more games and other forms of media like train cards, books, manga, and of course the Pokemon anime, which began April 1st, 1997. The next games in the series came for the Game Boy Color, being Pokemon Gold and Silver, released November 21st, 1999, and October 15th in 2000 in America. And they were actually initially planned to be the last games in the series, and as such had some ties to the previous ones in the, in the franchise. And despite that, Sales were very good, and a third version came, Pokemon Crystal, and debuted the feature of being able to choose the gender of the character, and this character here is presumably the female choice for the original games that got cut. And sometime between the release of the Exodus afterwards came some games, Pokemon Stadium, Stadium 2, and 3D models from those games were lifted to be used in Smash Brothers, like I've seen here. And the Game Boy Advance was soon released with Pokemon Red and or Ruby and Sapphire released November 21st, 2002 in Japan and, and March 19th the following year in North America. And there were actually a couple console main series games being Coliseum and released on November 21st, 2003 and March 22nd, 2004 in America. And this ended up being some something very innovative and helpful. Eventually came the re remakes of Red and Green, known as Fire Red, Leaf Green, released January 29, 2004 in Japan, and September 9, 2004 in America. And the DS soon came around, and there, were, there was one game released for it, but it didn't really do anything, because at the time, DS was supposed to be a companion to the Game Boy, not replacing it. Two more Generation 3 games were released, being Emerald, a third version to Ruby and Sapphire, with the release of September 26th, or 16th, 2004 in Japan, May 1st, 2005 in America, and lastly, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, a sequel to Coliseum, but it's not like Nintendo ever seems to acknowledge Coliseum and XD ever existed, but whatever. The DS soon came, and came the fourth generation of Pokemon, with Diamond and Pearl oh, being that those the first generation four games released September 28, 2006 in Japan and April 22, 2007 in America. They are followed by Platinum, which have released of September 13, 2008 in Japan and in America March 22, 2009. And thus also, and after that came Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes of the 
of the second generation. And then Pokemon seemed to kind of reach like a sort of end point, but came the fifth generation, which some consider the black sheep for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, Pokemon Black and White were released for the DS September 18th, 2010, and then March 6th, 2011 in America. <coughs> and the region and the game was actually based off New York. Anyway, sequels following that, Black 2 and White 2 were released sometime later, and Generation 5 is kind of the shortest time for a generation with the release of 3DS. And thus, the 3DS came, in the, came with Pokemon games X and Y. Thank you. 